Hi, I'm Richard Van Dog, and I'm here in the, the dojo, so you might hear some other noise going on, training and stuff like that. But I just want to share you a little bit about uh, this weapons bag that I put together, really because I bought so many different bags and they fell apart, and they just didn't do what I wanted to. They weren't long enough, my bows wouldn't fit in it. There were pockets on it and stuff to put all the things that I want in it, and uh, word straps that are good for holding, or ways of securing things so they didn't fall out and all it and falling apart. I just got tired of all the cheap bags and losing stuff at the airport and all the rest. So I spent some time, you know, working on this and kept working on it until I've got a really great bag that I really love and I just wanted to tell you about it because gosh if you didn't see all that it did you probably wouldn't know how good it was by just seeing, you know, this Enlightened Warrior Budo bag. You know, it's uh it's great. I mean I made sure that I designed a pocket here and uh, we'll show you some close-up shots, but I, uh, I designed a, a long pocket so that I could put all kinds of uh, things in here. You know, I could you know, put a knife in here. I could have my keys in here. I could have my glasses in here. I could have my, you know, my iPhone in here. I could have actually cash, maybe need some beer money or whatever, uh, some food, you know, business cards, whatever. There's still a whole lot of room to put a lot of cool stuff in here. You may, you know, have parts from your sword or whatever, you know, so that they can also go in here. Uh, of course, you can wrap these things up. Maybe you just have a whole set of shuriken, and you know, they need to go in here as well. And so it just all stacks. And I just toss this stuff in here at the moment. But you know, it zips up. It has a nice little uh, ring here that we end up adding, so that you can put a little lock on here if you want to while you're training. Something you can have around your wrist, yank, or whatever, so that your stuff is you know, a little bit more secure. But a nice long pocket. It'll even actually fit you know, a knife in it uh, as well. Some people like to have knives or other things and stuff inside that pocket instead. And you know, you can fit lots of different gear. Of course, I made it long enough so the six-foot bows would actually fit inside. Too many bags I had, they're all there's stuff sticking out the end. You can't take it through an airport even in a car, the stuff comes out, flies out, you know, and I, I made this thing zip all the way around so that, uh, just to show you this here, that I put a strap around so that it holds all the stuff tight together. The zipper comes all the way around the top with another little loop so you can also lock the end of the bag. It's real important, or even some kind of tie or something on it so that your stuff doesn't fall out. The reason I'm leaving this open now, I mean, it zips all the way down. The, the bottom end of this is double-ended durable, so the stuff doesn't break through the end of the bag. We made it really double, triple strong. This is made of a special, uh, like, bullet-type, uh, Kevlar-type Cordova, I forget the exact name of it, material, so that it's very high, you know, industrial uh, strength, so it won't rip. We put in a very special, more, way more expensive zipper. A lot of your cheap bags have a very, really cheap zipper because the zippers are sometimes the most expensive thing in making the bag. Same with the material. Cheap material, cheap zippers, made in China, you know, they just come apart. These are handmade. Handmade by a special canvas company. So they cost us more. That's why, you know, the reflection on the price. Of course, I had special carrying straps, putting on a slider so that wherever you're carrying on your shoulder is going to hold your shoulder. You can expand the strap. Also put a carrying handle on it. Sometimes you want to just hold it and carry the bag. Sometimes you want to have it on your shoulder. Got both. Easy, just grab and go. Uh, and so, I mean, it's really easy to, you know, you put your bow in there, maybe slide off your sword pieces. Now, normally I would put this in this pocket. I could even just toss it in here. You could throw some guns in there, knives in here. You could be specific or not. Stick in some sword, you know, in here. Uh, my my good swords, you know, I, I may put padding, it depends on how far I'm going to go, but they'll easily go in here. You may have to maneuver these for links because the subas take up a whole lot of space, so sometimes I have to stagger that. That's why it's good to have the distance. A couple of, everybody should have a couple of stream of sticks to practice with. You know, you can even put your shuko, your kyokatsu shoge, you know, and I have room for a whole lot more stuff in here. You know, you may have to, you know, finagle where it goes, but I can easily put way more swords. There's a lot, a lot of room. Stick a couple more bows, whatever it is that I want. Stuff may fall out. You know, you, again, you have to, I'm just doing this quick to show you, but there's plenty of room. 
all stuff's in here, zips all up, comes around, you you just feed the strap through, down, lock it, lock it down, this just tightens the end of the bag, secures the stuff, your zipper goes to the end, and again you can put a little lock here if you want. You have a whole complete bag with you can see it's still loose. There's a lot of room uh, in this bag, your carry handle, all your goodies in here. Of course, this takes up, you know, if you want more weapons, you put less in here. But you can see there's just a, still a lot of room. It's strong. It's durable. You know, the kids are running around the dojo, which is really great to have them play. But, you know, this is a great Enlightened Warrior Budo bag that I custom designed. It's strong. It's extra done, extra strength. You know, it's, uh, it's a super bag. And that's what I want for my training gear. There's, you can do a whole lot of play uh, with what you can put in one bag, plus your own personal stuff you get to take with you. So that's the thing on the bag, and uh, I'll see you on the mat.